Hi guys, so today we're doing the Dreamcatcher shorts. I've just got a normal pair of high-waisted um, jeans and I've just um, cut them and frayed them up. You can fray them how, however much you want really, as long as you like, don't cut them too short because then the whole Dreamcatcher won't fit, or my design won't anyway. Um, and they're like a purpley black, they're sort of all over the place colour. Um, so you, you probably want to get a dark pair of shorts just so that the dream catcher stands out because um, I'm doing it with silver and and sort of light lightish colors um, I've just got my jacquard um, fabric paints again um, they're from my last video as well so I'm just using the same ones all the same colors pretty much um, and then I've found these 3d t-shirt paints um, I'm, I haven't really used them before but I'm going to try use them on this one and I've just got silver and blue and then I've just got a normal painting cup it's about um, seven centimeters wide sort of okay so we'll get started I like to put the cup sort of in line with with this little belt buckle thing here because then you can make the string go around it so it's like it's hanging off it so I'm going to start with silver. And line it up so it's in line with that belt buckle. And then I'm just going to paint around it. You can be as rough as you want, it really doesn't matter. Like, don't worry about messing up or anything. This is the easy version. Okay, so once you've got your circle, um, you can see it's really rough and I just like to try and, like once it's half dry, I like to try and push out the sides so that it looks sort of misty. Uh, what I'm going to do is start with some turquoise. You can see that colour. This one's really watery so it doesn't come up that well, but, um, and I don't really clean my brush. <laughs> sort of a messy painter. Now what you want to do, this bit's kind of poor. What you want to do is, it's like a clock, so we're putting one at the top, a blob at the top, and then a blob, say at three o'clock, and at six o'clock. And then at nine o'clock. And then I'm going to go and do in between each of these ones. So the same thing, but just in between. Now what I'm going to do is with my silver again, get my brush really thin with my silver I'm going to paint from each one of these dots up into the corner so let me get really close here Let's see what I'm doing so I'm going to paint from there as thin as possible And back to that one. So do that all the way around. And then I'm going to in the point, so say in the middle of this bit here, I'm going to connect that down like that. So making diamonds. And I'm going to do it 
the same all the way around. Okay, now I'm going to mix it up a little bit from the one that I've originally done just to try something different. So instead of doing straight down there and then straight across and just like joining up all the star points, I'm going to do something different and put a circle in the middle. And then I'm going to join these points, so that one there, into there. But I've just found the easiest one, sort of. So I'm just going to join that up. Join that up. Okay. So that's my dream catcher. Now... What I like to do is have it so that it looks like the dream catch is hanging off this little belt buckle here. So I'm just going to put a really thin line. like it's tucked behind there and it comes down there like that okay so that's the top of the dream catcher and now what I'm going to do I'm going to add the detail at the end with the little beads and everything in there the next thing I want to do is get a smaller circle so I'm just going to use the lid off the top of these paints and that's about two and a half centimeters maybe three and I'm going to put two circles at the bottom like one there and one there and stuck together you want to leave enough room for a little string that's holding these bottom ones down and then the feathers at the bottom of course so you want to leave that so I'm going to put one here I'm just doing it in silver again, exactly like how we did the top one. Just do a rough circle with your silver. All right, when you have you with the two bottom ones. I'm going to put my string to join up these two, just connect it to the top of them, again make it really thin so that it looks like cobwebby. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same pattern that we've done in here, but in here, so we're going to do it nice and little.
and put a little circle on the end there sort of like a bead and then two little strings that are like falling off the side of it here Okay, I'm just mixing. I've mixed some red with the silver just to make it a lighter colour. Because now we're going to do the leaves at the bottom. And I'm going to put three leaves, I mean feathers, <laughs> on each one. Just to make your paintbrush nice and thin. And I don't have much room here. I really haven't left myself much room. So I'm just going to make the feathers sort of fall off the bottom. And I'm going to put the red feather on this side. Oh, that's a really nice colour. And just colour it in. And then the same with these little ones here. Just put a little red feather. On. inside and now I'm just going to clean my brush and then I've mixed up the silver and the turquoise for the jewels and I'm just going to put a bit of that on there and do the middle leaf I mean feather Okay, so we've got all our feathers on there. Probably can't see that hold it up higher. And then we want to put like a small bead in there, so a blob of the red on there. And I'm just gonna stick it right there. Right, and put one out here. 